You can do better. Let me show you what a good time looks like. Hello, you can do welcome to a new so vlog. My face is looking particularly steroid moon facey today in this angle. <laughs> I am just sat um, getting a video live. It is Thursday and Thursday's video is going out this evening but I, there's been a very, very, very minor little change that I had to do to it but it actually means doing the change, downloading the video, redoing the whole upload onto YouTube so I'm like, oh, I really don't need this but I understand why it needs to be done and it's a brand I absolutely love working with so it is never too much trouble for them but yeah it's Thursday afternoon I have been so rubbish at vlogging all week I started vlogging on Monday and I think like after half term and then the boys had an inset day on Monday so it's just been a chaotic week and it's now Thursday and I feel like this is the first time I've actually had a minute to pick my camera up and actually stop and like talk to you girls I feel like I'm lisping. Do I sound like I'm lisping? I feel like for some reason my, my mouth feels like I'm lisping today. Um, which does remind me that I need to restart my Invisalign because it just all went to pot once I got, um, when I get when I got ill, I was like, the last thing I want is my teeth hurting right now. But um, yeah, so an update of the week so far. Monday we had an insect day. I took Seth and three of his friends out to kick air in Manchester which is like this big football slash trampoline slash ninja warrior kind of place. They were good as gold. The only, the only problem we had was um, we got a, we were running so late, I promised to take them to KFC and we were running really late because I had to be up for Rick and there was loads of traffic so we got a drive through and um, I don't know if they gave us like faulty cups or whether this is the norm for KFC. I've never noticed it before. None of the cups had straw, like, holes to put the straws in. So they all had, like, these cups with no lids on <laughs> in the back of my car. And, um, yeah, let's just say there was a lot of Diet Coke spill and a lot of cleaning had to be done after Monday. So that was fun, but apart it wasn't their fault. And it was, um, apart from that, they were so good. They were really, really well behaved. Uh, what else have I got to update you on? Oh, on Saturday I went round to my friend's house and had a drink for the first time probably since before I got my diagnosis. I've not drank at all. I've had like the odd glass of wine here and there, but like a proper drink, like a proper girl's like drink and she kept topping my gin up and I don't know what happened. I was so drunk, literally. Rick ended up coming round with Max because all the boys were there, They're, all the boys were all playing and me and my friends were just drinking, like having a few drinks in the kitchen and then Rick came back, he'd been to some football thing with, with Max, they came round and um, it wasn't even late, it was literally like 9 o'clock because I went, went round at like 5.30 and said, oh I just come out for one drink before Rick gets back. Anyway, she kept topping my gins up, um, I drank loads of the passion fruit gin which is so good. If you love passion fruit, it's on one of my Instagram reels. I was so drunk. I was like, Rick, I need to go home. <laughs> and just, I said like the quickest goodbye to the girls. I was like, I need to go. They only live around the corner. So I literally like stumbled home on my own at nine o'clock and got in bed and went to sleep. And I felt so rough the next day. I got up at like five o'clock in the morning because I couldn't sleep. And I always get really bad anxiety after I've drank. And I just felt really like that. So I was like, I need to eat something, have a cup of tea. And then I just like dozed on the sofa. <laughs> and I had football on Sunday. So I was a little bit rough going to football. But yeah, it was nice. Um, oh, I went to my first Reiki on Tuesday. It was the weirdest thing. It was so relaxing. It kind of felt a little bit like, you know, when you have a massage and you drift off halfway through. Like it was so relaxing. I, I really switched off. For the first, like I'd say the first 10, 15 minutes, my brain was going and I was thinking about loads of things I needed to do and then after that I completely switched off. But it was the weirdest thing. I had like loads of really strange sensations from it. Like when, because so she would like put her hands on like my head and then your neck, heart, like all over your body and like, I don't know, I don't know the ins and outs of it. It was literally my first session but it's like channeling energy and working through your chakras. She said she felt like my 
one of my chakras which is all to do with like creativity and no not creativity that one she said was fine uh like confidence and things she said it was really blocked and I really felt that when she said that and I thought do you know what actually it probably is my confidence is probably the lowest it's been in a long time I think and I genuinely think it's because of the cancer I think it just like knocked me for six really felt that when she said that and then she said but you should maybe feel a change in that because she said she felt like she really cleared that and she also said oh one other thing happened it was weird like halfway through she was doing whatever she was doing and I felt this really like weird out of body sensation it was like the first half of my body like the first upper half of my body it was like it was trying to lift out of my body and it would like lift so far and then kind of like stop honestly it sounds so strange me saying that but it, it genuinely felt like that it was so weird and then she also said afterwards did you feel anything like down your right hand side and I was like no I don't think so and she said my leg was like really really twitching on my hip which I just didn't feel at all so it was so strange like it didn't feel that at all but I just felt so relaxed so calm it was so lovely. I booked my mum in actually for next week. I was like, mum, you need to go. So I've treated my mum to a Reiki session next week and then I'm booked in for another one in I think two weeks. So I might actually ask her, she's a lovely lady, so I might even ask her if I can just like take my vlogging camera and um, just show you all a little bit because I found it really like interesting. It was like dead magical and like I'm all about like, you know, energies and that's Spirit, like spirits and the universe and stuff so I absolutely loved it. My camera is literally flashing at me right now um, but my plan is I'm going to put it on charge quickly now. I'm going to get this video up that I'm trying to <laughs> get online. I also have a few outfits to shoot for Lemon Milk so one of them I know you guys are going to absolutely love. I'm obsessed with it. I just want the weather to go really warm <laughs> so I can wear it. Um, so I will show you that in a minute once my camera is charged a little bit. I'm just really unorganised this week because so my battery is flashing at me. Um, and also, I really, really like my makeup today. I've done it really differently. I'm probably saying that and got mascara under my eyes, like I always do. But I've done it differently. So I really want to do it in this vlog like an updated makeup routine because I feel like I've changed my makeup a lot since the last one I did, which God knows when that was. Um, so I want to do that, so I'll probably do that tomorrow morning and include it in this vlog. Um, and, oh, one more thing really quickly before my battery dies. My hair is getting so thick and healthy. This morning I was like, I could just feel it. It just feels thicker and not ratty and like stringy like it did when I took my hair extensions out. So I am so happy about that, really over the moon. Um, but yeah, my camera, sh my camera is flashing right up here at me. So I'm gonna put it on charge and I'll be back in a minute to show you this outfit, because it's so nice. Okay, my battery is very slightly charged. So this is the new outfit that I am shooting for Lemon Milk. How gorgeous is it? It's like a nude, like linen, but it has all this detail. It has all these buttons, pleats, the sleeves are beautiful. And then it's like short sets. Let me show you properly. How cute is this? I absolutely love it and then the shorts are like this how beautiful is it I've just put it with I'm gonna turn you around just shot some pictures of this I'm just gonna quickly edit them and send them over I knew you girls would want to see this cute good morning it is Friday I didn't vlog anything after yesterday I'm so sorry this vlog is so rubbish this week I'm all over the place um, but it's Friday morning Rick has just shaved his beard off. He looks like a different person. Wasn't you look ten years younger. Wasn't a personal choice. <laughs> I was like, shave that beard off. It's so big. It makes his head just look so big and round. So he shaved his beard off, which I'm very happy about. You literally look like a different, bo different boy, <laughs> different man. Hey. You look diff completely different. Come here. Yeah. And we have much outfits on there. <laughs> I know. Look at that. Yay! So. You got to excuse that. That is the result. I've told him he shift. needs to um, ha ha do some self care and use some good skincare. I have. You look tired. I have. I have my healthy selection. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, it's Friday morning. We've had a little bit of a slow morning this morning. And Rick is just about to help me come and shoot a outfit pick. 
and then we need to go and nip and see my mum at the charity shop she volunteers at the charity shop on friday afternoon so we've just got to go and nip and see her and then what else are we doing today you're going to share the link of what your mum's doing she's doing a charity Aww. steps or something for cancer research i am actually i'll put it in the description my mum is she didn't even tell me she's doing like a charity walk to raise money for cancer because obviously i'm going through cancer treatment and also my mum's best friend um has gone through breast cancer last year as well so she didn't even tell us she just put better she put it on instagram stories and i never see a post on instagram no i was like Facebook. what oh i saw it on instagram oh, yeah. and then rick donated 100 pounds didn't you yeah how sweet and she was so over the moon so she's got a really low target so if anyone wants to donate um she would be so happy with that it'd be really nice i'll put it in the description box so we're gonna go and see her and then we are having a date night tonight yeah aren't we um, when was the last time we had a date night and if, oh, I don't know. Why are you not in the, yeah. in the camera? I don't know. Ages. I can't well, do Well, that, that smells nice. That, that nice. I've had so many comments about that. So if you want to buy your husband something nice, <laughs> what that is. It? is. It's Abercrombie Abercrombie. face. Blue. Honestly, I'm getting some more. I'm out. Ordering more today. Manfluencer. <laughs> no, it's just nice. It's nice. Just spread the word. It's one of them you don't it think nice. of. It is nice. It is really nice. Um, we're having a date night tonight. I can't, literally cannot remember the last time we went out and had a date night no. because it's just been so busy. So we booked my mum in and um, I think basically why we haven't is because when the kids go to their dads, but they've got to, usually like when they were younger, they would just go every other weekend. And now as they're older, they're a bit more like they can just be where they want to be. And there's always somebody, because there's four of them, there's always somebody who ends up at home so it's not very often that we have like a night child free night so tonight we booked my mum in and you stood right in the light there you're so big you're not allowed to say that not fat you're just so big um so yeah we're having date night aren't we yeah. which is gonna be so nice we've not booked anything what do you want to do sleep that's all that ever happens that's when we do get any time we just think oh, fuck, just we did up. think like should we go for a little spa evening but I couldn't, there was nowhere. I had a lock. There's right. nowhere that's got anywhere tonight. I'm going to get on the sunbed, I think. That's what's up with me. Stop looking in the mirror. So, yeah, we were going to go for a spa. Sorry, I'm just, I don't really know why I'm here now. <laughs> because people want to see you. They like seeing you. People like to be nosy. You're um, just too big, though. I can't <laughs> get you in. There we go. Um. So, yeah, I don't know what... <laughs> You're too tall. That's the problem. Here we go. There. So what do you want to do? <laughs> I think we might go for some food. There's a really nice restaurant. Do you fancy going to Sasso? Yeah. yeah. Or that Indian you were telling us about. Oh yeah, we thought we might go for an Indian. So we're going to do that. We've got to sort out kids football training and then my mum's going to come for like seven and we are going to go and have an evening, just me and you, which I I'm so excited about. Yeah. Are we and dressing up? We're getting the worktop measured up. So oh, we've got the nice of the new house as well because our granite worktop in the kitchen is finally organi getting organised to be fit fitted. So we can take you down and show you the house because there's so much done. And I don't think I've even shared it on the vlog. There's so much, isn't there? Yeah. And I've not once, I think, brought you girls along when we've been down to the new house and looking at stuff. So we'll show you that. And then you can come on date night with us as well tonight. Yeah? yeah. Is that all right with you? Yes. Um, but yeah, we're going to go and film this outfit picture. I've got the most gorgeous coat to shoot today. So we're going to go and do that, see my mum. And are you with me all day? Are we spending the day together? Yeah, I think my brother said he was coming up. Oh, yeah. To Boxing yeah. at some point, so I'll meet up with him. Yeah, talk about it. Yeah, it's no, like... I don't think we are. I don't know. No. Can't talk I'll about that. Cut that out of the video. Go cut that out. We'll Ignore that. that. <laughs> um... This is your problem. <laughs> I don't know, do I? My yeah. Um so yeah, you can spend the day with us and we are gonna go and have some adult time tonight. Are we dressing up? Dress down to dress up, don't you? Yeah, but are we dressed in like do I need to put something nice on? I've washed my hair. Well, I'm taking joggers off, so <laughs> we're dressing up as <laughs> well. Okay, let's go and shoot this outfit.
shot. Oh, lots of photos and some videos. I've just taken the coat off because um, I don't want to get it all dirty because it's a really nice coat and we're just like running around doing loads of jobs now. And it's all like wet and muddy everywhere. Well, I've just got back in the car to go and see my mom. We are in the Mini because we sold the Audi on, what day was it, Wednesday? Yesterday. We literally put it up for sale because we've been thinking about it for ages. And because like we had those problems with it last week and it had to go into the garage. So we did loads of work on it. And we were like, do you know what, should we just sell it? Because it's done us really, really proud that car. We've had it like three years and it's hardly caused us any problems. And we were like, well, we've just done that work on it. Let's just get rid of it. So we put it up thinking maybe like what? It was done in a few weeks. <laughs> it went no. in like 12 hours. This guy just came, got it straight away in the morning and bought it straight away. Um, because it was a nice car. We were so sad to see it go, weren't we? We were I'm like, just now wondering how I sold it to you, Jane. I know. But we were both like, oh my God, I, I didn't think it would actually sell so quick. We both absolutely loved that car. As much as I moaned about it. So we are in the Mini and on the hunt for a new car, new family car. Um, but it's a bit, um, happened a bit quicker than we thought it was going to happen. So. Yeah. so yeah, so we're going to go and see my mum in the charity shop now. We might get her on the vlog. Should we get her on the vlog? She gets so awkward. She's like, hi. Rick wants another pickup. Rick is like the worst person for cars. He gets a car, gets bored of it. Six months later, wants to change it, wants to get something else. And that has been forever, the whole time we've been together. <laughs> just like, just buy a pickup, just it's get just, a pickup, it's we have, fine. We have four kids that all play football, two dogs. Yeah. To be fair, I really liked it when we had the pickup. It was so good for like, especially in the summer when we were like out on the bikes and, all, and things like that all the time. Um, yeah, it's just like. And also, we have to have regular trips up to the recycling plant. Yes, we do. Somebody has a lot of cars. So, we're going to get an automatic because I don't really know how to drive a manual i can drive a manual i'm just not very good at it so i think <laughs> you can't drive a manual i can i can i passed my test i've got a license to say i can no it doesn't matter you've got a license <laughs> you can't drive a manual car. i tell you what i can do in a manual i can drive and i can go and i can stop and i can drive the problems that i encounter is whenever it comes to a start or any kind of parking like parallel parking i really struggle so just yeah, like 50 percent of the driving side of driving yeah so right we just pulled up at the um charity shop so i'm gonna go and see my mum It was so lovely. We were home for like maybe quarter past ten. Um, but it was just so nice to just have some food and just have some time together. It was so lovely and we've had the laziest Saturday morning. It is actually, it's not even morning anymore, it's 25 to 1. And I have just only just got myself dressed and showered. Um, I'm just waiting for my mum to come. We're going to go for a nice little dog walk. It's such a lovely morning, although, well, it was a lovely morning, but now there's loads of grey clouds in the sky, so I'm hoping it's going to hold off. We're going for a nice dog walk. Blow the cobwebs away with a lovely walk. My mum has a spaniel, and then we're going to take our two Frenchies and tire them out, and also Effie's going to come with me. Before the boys get back from football, it has been so nice to have a Saturday morning off football today. Effie's leg wasn't feeling very good because um, she usually plays for a girls team and the boys obviously play as well. We have to be in four different places at once but actually this morning Max didn't have a game. Um, Effie isn't playing so it's just the boys game so that their dad took um, hit them to football so they've actually had the morning off having to stand in the freezing cold and rushing around from like eight o'clock in the morning so it's been so lovely to just have a nice little lie-in me and rick have been car hunting looking for some more cars we're just gonna have a nice chilled afternoon i really want to show you my new makeup routine um so i'm going to film that so when it because we're gonna go out this evening it's rick's mum's birthday 
so we're going for a bit of a family meal so when I do my makeup for that I will hello Mary I will film that as well Mary's here we're gonna go for a dog walk shall we go for a dog walk you don't like the cold weather do you she hates the cold <laughs> if it's raining or windy she is like she will run outside and come straight back in again <laughs> she hates it do you want to go walkies do you not like the camera in your face <laughs> you look huge i don't know why she looks so big she's such a sweetheart honestly frenchies are the loveliest loveliest dogs like family dogs our two are crazy they just have the most crazy personalities like completely crazy different so mary's like chilled she's like she's like a sophisticated lady who likes to just be left in peace and she likes to sleep a lot she likes food she's very greedy she um she likes just to be left alone elton on the other hand he's got the funniest personality he's like crazy he's scared of absolutely everything he goes crazy when we go outside he hates going outside because he's just scared of everything other dogs wagons mobility scooters prams you name it he is scared of it um, so he's like constantly wired and nervous. He's like a bit, he's a bit of a rescue. We got him at 16 weeks and it was his, because the first home he'd been to, um, it didn't really work very well. So we don't really know what socialization he had when he was a puppy. So we're having to redo all his socialization now. So bless him. So we're gonna go take walk your walkies. Go see Nonna and Meg. <laughs> dog walk um and I thought I would just really quickly do my makeup now um this afternoon for when we go out this evening for Rick's mum's birthday I'm going for like a Chinese so it's very it's not like super dressy or anything so I thought I would just do like my normal everyday makeup and then I can share and show you um some of the products that I've been using lately because it's just not I'm not going to be like mega mega dressed up so so yeah I think like my everyday makeup this is my everyday makeup bag that I just have everything in um and stuff that I just use every day obviously um and it's changed a lot lately I feel like I wear a lot less makeup um, and one of the main things that's changed is I've just been using this foundation religiously. It's the MAC Studio Radiance Face and Body Foundation. I wear shade. I'm sure the shade I use is NW35. And what I love about this foundation is it literally looks as if you don't have any foundation on. Just gives you really nice, really glowy skin. And it is just my foundation of choice at the moment. Even when we went out last night, and I would usually put a um, heavier foundation on, I haven't. I've been I've been really really leaning towards this foundation. I love it. It's so light, and it just gives you that really nice complexion really evens out your skin without being too heavy or caked on like you can still see your skin through it honestly i can't tell you how lovely this foundation is to wear so i always start off with that and then i haven't been using concealer lately but what i have been using is the really really oh cut my finger the really really pale fair um, section of my Anastasia Beverly Hills contour palette and I've been going I never used to but I've been really like taking it right up here and trying to brighten up that eye area and honestly my everyday makeup now is so quick and easy 
and I feel like I wear a lot less than I ever used to. But the biggest thing that I think has changed is my eyes, eye makeup. I always used to go for just really bronzy and I've really changed that up. For my contour, I religiously use and have done, I think this is my third part, the NARS Sun Kissed Bronzing Cream. It's this one. And it is in shade Casino. And I think this is why everyone always thinks I have cheek filler. I think I over contour my cheeks to make them look quite big. I think I just always have and then I always just go a little bit down my nose, not too much, across the bridge and then on the end and then a tiny dot below my bottom lip and then I just go a little bit along the jawline. just to define that jaw and then I just use my foundation brush to go back in these are the Real Techniques brushes um, I love this foundation brush it's really good in fact I've used their foundation brushes for years now but this one I really like I just think it's really easy to use so I roughly blend that in with my foundation brush. I can't see in the viewfinder, I need to use a mirror to make sure I get it even. So yeah, that's pretty much like base foundation and then contour rather than anything else. Then I have been using, I've still been using this and do you know what, it has lasted so long and I use it every single day. I bought a travel size of the Terry by Terry Hyaluronic um, Pressed Hydra Powder and I use it every day. I don't use a lot, mind you, because, like I said, I don't like a super matte look. But this is just like the travel size one. I've just got it to test to see if I liked it, because generally, I'm not the biggest fan of, um, like, powders. I like much more of a creamy, glowy finish. But I love this powder. I love this powder. And when I finish this, I'm 100% going to buy the big one. It just sets everything and keeps like, I mean, I don't have a lot of makeup on, so sometimes I find like when you don't wear very much, throughout the day, you lose it and it just slides off your face and looks like you haven't got any on. Um, but this, I really like, it really just seems to like hold it in place all day. And then another favourite that I still am using is the Terracotta Blusher, which is like the bronzer from, oh, <laughs> from Nope Cosmetics. This has got such a nice shimmer and it's a really nice dark bronzy colour. So I basically go over the areas that I contoured with bronzer just to get a really nice bronzy glow and then I usually just go down my neck. I mean, I am no makeup artist. I'm just showing you what I do at the moment because I actually really like my makeup at the moment. I just think it looks really natural when it's done. So yeah, eyeshadow. I've been using this palette a lot, which is the Benefit um, Easy Essentials eyeshadow, eyeshadow palette. And I used to use this a lot. I used to use like this bronzy color. But I've actually started using these lighter colours so much more. This is just a really creamy, creamy, creamy um, beige, like real nude eyeshadow. Now I never ever used to like nude and like really bare eyelids at all. Like literally would never ever wear just a creamy colour. My eyes are really dry again as well. I don't know why, that my skin on my eyes is so sensitive sometimes. 
and it's gone really dry again. So let's just ignore that and hope that this eyeshadow doesn't completely <laughs> dry it out even more today. I go all in with a beige colour on my eye, which is very, very new for me. And then after that, and then I then go in with the darker, bronzier colours that, that I would always use um, all over my lids before, just here. You know, um, I don't know what that bit's called. And then out, like slightly out. Which, yeah, it doesn't look very good on my <laughs> nice dry scabby eyes today. So I might put something a little bit hydrating over the top. You know, like um, I've got a couple of like nice bronzy gels from Iconic. My eye, I don't know why they've gone so sore, I'm so annoyed. I just take that out, which I didn't before. And I know people get like tape and all things like that, but you know, can't be bothered with that. I'm just, this is just my everyday makeup. So it is a bit of a change for me. And then I also have been going in with a highlighter in the corners of my eyes, which I didn't do before, just to brighten them up like so. And then I love this brush from Real, from, um, Real Techniques. It's like a real nice angled brush. I use it all the time on my eyebrows to so thicken my eyebrows up and I also use it on my eyelids. So I'm gonna go for this dark brownie color. Ooh. And just really subtly line my upper lash line. And I also use the same eyeshadow and the same brush on my brows and I just thicken them up by this brush is really good to give that kind of like um individual like hair stroke look and I just my microbone is just slightly starting to wear off here and I do like I always like a nice bushy brow and then what I always do on my eyebrows which is so strange is I get an old mascara that's almost drained out and it's, I just find it keeps my brows looking bushier than a brow gel and I just use it just to slightly go over my brows it has to be one that is running out otherwise it ends up being too heavy whereas if it's like drying out and almost empty you just get that little bit of texture on your brows because my brows are not good and I like to just add a little bit of thickness and texture to them with that. I think you can use any mascara, I generally do, but just usually one that is running out. I've been using new mascara and it's so good. It's this new one by YSL. It is called Lash Clash. I always think this bottle is so gorgeous as well. But oh my goodness, it's amazing. It makes even my really, really crap lashes like thick and long. I just need to go and get my eyelash curlers because Effie always pinches them. Eyelashes curled. And yeah, this mascara is the dream. It is such a good mascara to like build up as well. If you like a really dramatic lash it builds really nicely my lashes are usually non-existent so for them to get to be like that long is a miracle i absolutely rate this mascara it's such it's so good for my lashes honestly i'm so impressed now i just need to go and get a q-tip because I'm so rubbish at not getting it all over the rest of my makeup. So that is my eye makeup done. And then if I'm feeling a little bit fancy, I might do a tiny little bit of highlighter. I always use Iconic. I love their highlighters. And I just use it on a brush, a nice 
feathery brush, back of my hand, and then I always just highlight the very top of my nose. Keep it slow. I started adding a little bit here and here, tiny bit to my brow bone. And then just a tiny little bit on my cheeks. And lip combo, my favourite lip combo at the moment is this. It is my, uh, stripped down in MAC and this is Burt's Bees Liquid Lipstick in colour Niagara Nude. Can't say that. Niagara Nude. So I go just outside the lip line on the bottom and then I just kind of like fill in the key as well. I really need to sharpen this. on the top such a nice nude and because it's Burt's Bees it's like really hydrating my lips are actually quite dry I think it's because I had a drink <laughs> I had two glasses of wine last night and I can really feel it in my skin I think because I've not been drinking like at all really um, that's not the one I want um, I can really notice the difference of when you do have a hangover I've not had one in so long That's my lips. So that is pretty much my current everyday makeup. Really quick and easy to do. And all the products are really nice and like really easy, like blendable. And I love that it just gives a really natural, glowy, subtle makeup. I feel like since I had my hair cut, ah, I am all about just trying to keep it like quite subtle and classy looking and I really like that I'm going to go over my hair oh hair in my lip gloss I'm going to go over my hair before we go out this evening but pretty much that's it um I'm going to find something else to wear I've actually just had a huge Zara delivery so I think I'm going to wear something from that tonight but then I do have a huge Zara haul coming as well for you next week uh, it'll be on Thursday's fashion video um, huge, huge Sarah haul with some amazing goodies in there. So I won't show you now because I want to save it all for the Zara haul. But yeah, I think I'm going to wear something out of that today, tonight. But it's a training, so it's, you know, it's pretty casual where we're going. So I'm not going to get dressed up too much. But at least my makeup is now done. I'm going to finish off the vlog here. I hope you've enjoyed it. I feel like I say it every single week. It's just all over the place and I hope you don't mind. I hope that's like what you like seeing on a vlog, just a bit of like random everyday stuff. Let me know in the comments what videos you want me to film next and um, yeah, I hope you're all having a lovely Sunday. I'm gonna go and eat loads of Chinese food tonight and then come home and literally just get in bed. <laughs> Cause I'm so tired. It's been lovely spending the week with you all. I will see you on Thursday for a fashion video and next Sunday again for another vlog. So, love you all. Bye. You get the better. Let me show you.